What's up, folks? So, I had a few guys ask me earlier about my sheaths and, you know, I'm always here to help. Um, I got a, my raffle knife here. As you can see, it's not falling out, you know, it's, there's no strap on it. It's locked in there. Raffle's still up, by the way. But, snaps in there. That's wet form. Um, if I could go back, I would take my uh, friggin' knife and make the uh, holes just a little bit smaller on here. But, I'm probably going to go back over this stitch with a white stitch because I think it would look a little bit better. But, what I'm going to do is... I've got this sheath here. I haven't done any waxing on at all. It's been dyed, glued up, sanded. This is not waxed. So, my man Spencer Applin, my hero, him and Gary Ellis Jr. are my heroes, um, hands down. If those guys told me, hey Josh, throw everything you got away and start with this, that's exactly what I would do. They haven't told me that. They said, keep it up, you're doing a good job, do what you can uh, with what you got, and I have. And I've made a pretty lucrative career off of it. But uh, Spencer told me about Brown Tripoli, or Tripoli, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what it looks like. You can get it on uh, Amazon.com for five or six bucks, Texas Night Supply, about the same price, but it smells like dirty peanut butter, it's this consistency of frozen caramel, um, almost like a, a dried up crayon, but this stuff right here loves wood and it loves leather, so I knew that it loved wood, and I saw what it did to the wood that I was working with, and it just hit me out of nowhere. I said, you know, what would it do on leather? So I took a sheath that I had that I spent a lot of time on, and I went ahead and polished the sheath with this. Not by hand, not with any, you know, rags or anything, but on a six inch, Harbor Freight Buffer that I paid $28 for. Um, I'll show you guys the buffer in just a second, but just type in Amazon.com. Brown, T-R-I-P-O-L-I. -I. That's what I'm using right here. Brown Tripoli. And I'm going to use it on this sheath that has no wax. This right here is all uh, burnishing with a piece of wood just back and forth back and forth so we're gonna shine this guy up the knife handle is also treated with the same thing but we're gonna take our knife out that over here and I'm gonna polish this sheet with brown Tripoli on a buffer and let you guys see what I'm talking about so one second All right, let's tilt this guy just a tad. There's my buffer right there. Harbor Freight, $28 with the 25% off coupon. Um, these guys, the replacement discs right here, they suck. They're too big. This is the original one right here that I use with my, um, my blue and my green compound. But this one right here is only for turtle wax and brown chipotle as you can see it's all brown so I haven't really put a lot of turtle wax on so let's see what we can do with this okay before and dirty
Now, as, as an interjection, I'm going to go ahead and say that this sheath has been wet formed for at least 10 days. It's hard. It is hard like Kydex. So when you put your knife in there, it's solid. You know, it's not giving at all when I push down on it. It's hard as a rock. And that's what I want for mine because I sell to a lot of bikers and I sell to a lot of certified badasses that want to carry one of my knives and they don't want their stuff to slip out. But um, so as we were saying, you know, that's just after one pass with the brown trifoli. You don't have to use a lot of force on this either. You just gotta barely let this this wheel just barely touch your sheath. If you go too hard on it, it it's gonna take it out of your hands. It's not gonna be nice. All right, so there we go. So it's got a nice shine to it. And now we're going to try to get up in here as much as we can. Alright, so like I said, I paid 28 bucks for this guy. It came with two six inch buffing pads on it. I buffed this knife on here. It's covered in oil right now because I coat all my knives with three in one oil before I post them for sale or anything. Um, the heat, it did no damage to the sheath as you can see it snapped in tight yeah you gotta get some force to pull my knives out of the sheath um but there we go now if you look at your welt which isn't perfect you know i'm not i'm not the greatest sheath maker in the world I, i'm not claiming to be but i'm just showing you guys what and how I do mine. Um, try to get a better picture here. It'll focus. So now, I'm just gonna take my shirt and wipe some of this wax off of here. And as you can see, that did a hell of a difference, just getting that excess off. So, you got this, you got your welt, 
the back of the sheath, the flesh side, and the belt loop, and then there's the inside, and that's it. Just like that. So, all I'm saying is. <coughs> The brown Chipotle is great for wood, for leather, for plastic. Um, I do a lot of uh, super glue finishes on my knives. So, with that said, my first step on my super glue finishes is green compound and then blue. And then I do turtle wax, coral wax, um, mothers, magnet aluminum polish, and then brown chipotle on my handles. And that's why they all look like glass. Except this one. I didn't want this one to be overly shiny. But... <clears throat> If you guys want to, uh, to, to put a nice finish on your sheets, that's all you need. Just a little bit of brown chipotle and it'll last a really long time. Just use a really loose buff wheel like this. The loosest one you can find. But watch out. Wear a mask. I don't, but you know, I'm a hypocrite. But you're going to have strings everywhere. I can show you. It's a Stuff that comes off this thing it's not nice but that's all it takes you know just spend a little extra time if you think you're going too slow slow down that's all you gotta do you know I, I catch myself sometimes going way too fast and all you gotta do is just slow down ten times if you think you're going too slow go a little slower take your time and you know I'm trying myself to pay more attention to my detail and that's all we got you know just make it happen and uh if you guys need me i'm always a facebook click away just like gary and just like william and just like dallas just a facebook click away that's it you know we're always here to answer questions and you know tell you hey you know slow down or don't do that or david jackson you know he'll He'll say, go ahead and try it. If it doesn't work, just don't do it again. So, you guys have a good night. I've been up for 42 hours straight, so I'm going to try to get a little sleep before we take this little baby in to see if she's going to need an operation on her throat. Um, I really hope she doesn't because that's not going to be good, but if it helps her, that's all that matters. So... You guys have a good night, and uh, we'll all be here if you need us. See y'all later.